and days that make no more sense that drove you away. glad to see so many people for this concert of Piano Ocean. My name is Marek and uh, this is my boat Lady Flo and I created Piano Ocean project seven years ago which is sailing around the world with a piano on board. So years ago we cut a hole in the deck to allow the passage of the piano and then with a couple of friends we invented a system to lift the piano up onto the deck for the concerts, just like now, and to lower the piano into the back cabin when we're sailing. Of course, we're not sailing with the piano on the aft deck. And uh, we started sailing from the Mediterranean Sea, and then we went to Brittany on the west part of France, where I'm from, and then we crossed to Ireland, We've been sailing those past two years all along the west coast of Ireland and we just arrived a few weeks ago in Scotland. And, well, I must admit, I'm really, really 
uh, found of the Outer Hebrides. When I uh, told my friends in, in south of France, especially the sailors in, from the Mediterranean Sea, that uh, the next season I will be sailing the Outer Hebrides in Scotland, and they were like, are you serious? I mean, it's always raining over there. And look, so I think I will send them a few pictures today. Welcome to all of you. I'm really happy to be here in Stornoway. And um, this next song is called A Hundred Days at Sea. <laughs> Thank you. So um, most of the people uh, often ask me, how come, like, how, how did you get this idea of actually putting your piano on a sailboat? And uh, there, there are several answers, but the first thing is like it's a dream from when I was a really young girl. And at some point I, I was busking with my best friend Lily. She's actually just behind you there. I was busking in the streets of Galway when I was 18 years old or something. And 
realizing that the music is the perfect way to meet the people and to create a, a connection and strong links between the people. Then I decided to travel with the music. But uh, on the other hand, I was fond of boats and I always wanted to learn how to sail. And I started taking uh, sailing courses. And at some point, uh, I went like, okay, uh, traveling by the sea is another amazing way of meeting people and, and traveling. So let's do both. And that's how I ended up with the piano <laughs> on the boat. <laughs> And there's also uh, a little detail. There's a little book from an Italian writer called Alessandro Barico, and he wrote a novel called Novecento Pianist. It's a very small book, it's like 50 pages, just a short novel that tells the story of the legend of the pianist of the ocean. And that's one of my favorite book. And when I finished that book, I went like, this has to be not only a legend, we can make it real. And I wrote that song out uh, of this book. Put a spell on 
Thank you. So the whole idea of Piano Ocean is to do a world tour, but I guess it will be the slowest world tour ever. Just because, well, it's been already seven years and we just left, uh, well, we just sailed from the Mediterranean Sea to Scotland and there's all the rest of the world to do. So you can guess uh, the average of how many years we still have to go. <laughs> It will be a very slow and long and nice world tour. The, the idea of being slow is not only because we are sailing, it's as well uh, we like to spend a week, five days to ev in every port of call to get to meet the people and discover the places, discover as well the, the local cultures and songs and musicians and so that I can learn new songs or uh, compose new songs about the places I visit or the people I meet. And I'd like to sing one song that I uh, learned in Ireland last year. Uh, we went on a small island called Clare Island. It's on the west coast of Ireland, outside Connemara and Mayo area. And this island is well known because it was the home island of Granny Mall and she was the pirate Win. And there's a beautiful song celebrating this pirate queen. So when I sailed to this island, I went singing that song. And uh, most of the Irish people know these songs. Um, so it's called Oro uh, Welcome Back Home. not only the place where I actually became a musician, Ireland is not only the place where you can find pirate queens, Ireland is not only the best place to have a proper point of Guinness, Ireland is as well the country of Samuel Beckett.
somebody there at the top of the hill wondering what's coming I don't know there's somebody there at the top of the hill wondering what is real I don't know we're all born mad and some remain so let's wait for good old There's a skinny tree in everyone's head Do you think it could grow? I don't know The time is running in everyone's veins Could we just let it go? We're all born mad Some remain so Let's wait for good old Unity at the top of the hill, wondering what's coming. I don't know. There is you and me watching each new dawning as an eternity for us now. We're all born mad, some remain. So let's wait for good old. Thank you. The next song I'd like to play, it's a song that I wrote called Rivers of Rivers, and it's about all the small rivers that finally form a great and gigantic ocean. And this project is a bit like that. It's not only myself and the piano, there's much more rivers into that story. There's all the people that we've met and who gave us a hand on the way whenever we broke a sail or the engine. There's all the people who trust in us, all the people who wave us goodbye and safe sailing, all the smiley people who attended to a concert and all the people who are actually on board, because I'm sailing with my best friend, uh, Lily. She's a photographer and a writer and a filmmaker. My husband, Sebastian, our three years old son, Aaron, and the cat, Seabird. So all these small rivers are forming, in the end, a great and gigantic ocean. Of a word. 
Thank you. Um, I told you about Lily. When we started the project, we were only the two of us, so two girls sailing that boat. And um, the, the thing is that uh, seven years ago, when I asked Lily, my best friend, to jump on board with me to give me a hand on that project, she had a deep, deep fear of water. This is what I call real courage, to be able to pass over your fears and actually step on the boat and sail for six months without knowing anything about sailing. And well, she's still here, so it means that it was not that, that bad. <laughs> And um, last year we released uh, an album. Every year I release a new album. And she made an amazing film along with her brother. And they did this uh, Under the Western Sky film. It's a movie about all the sailing on the west coast of Ireland and all the people we've met and all the concerts and the adventures. And if you'd like to support the project and help us go uh, as far as we can, you can uh, buy a CD of 
are one of the beautiful photographies of Lily and the film as well. And this, this is the original soundtrack of the film. Thank you. I'll play one last song uh, just to let you know that tomorrow there's another concert at six and it will be the last concert in Stornoway because then we'll set sail again to cross the Sea of the Hebrides once more on the other side and go to the Isle of Skye and the small Isle of Egg and in Mel in Auburn and then sailed on the Irish Sea back to Brittany for a couple of months of wintering. And next year we'll sail north again, back in Scotland, cross the Caledonian Canal and then cross to Bergen in Norway and sail up to the Lofoten, very, very north. And the following year, we'll be crossing from the Lofoten to the Faroe, to Iceland, to Greenland, and end up in Canada. Touch wood. <laughs> Hope the weather will be with us. I really want to thank once more my amazing crew. So please applause uh, Sebastian and Aaron and Lily and Seabird.
I'll sing one song in French. I haven't sing any song in French yet, so maybe you'd like to hear a bit of my own language. It's a song about a sea shepherd. À l'orée de la berge et du large L'est une étrange vallée Où languit dans le lit de la vague Un jeune berger Allongé dans les bleus pâturages Il garde sans regarder Paloté dans les flots sous l'orage Les moutons égarés Si tu gardes à l'intérieur ce que tu guides à l'extérieur, alors vu de l'intérieur, tu ne changes pas. Si tu laisses à l'extérieur ce que tu guides à l'intérieur, Tu ne changeras pas. Douze agneaux et filant leur lénage, aux algues se sont mêlés et les jours où les brebis Sage, la mer donne du lait. S'il est là, le berger, c'est qu'à l'âge où l'on rejoint les cités, il n'a su trouver fille au village à marier si tu gardes à l'intérieur ce que tu guides à l'extérieur alors vu de l'intérieur tu ne changes pas si tu laisses à l'extérieur ce que tu guides à l'intérieur, alors vu de l'extérieur, tu ne changeras pas, tu ne changeras pas. Tout là-haut, sous les cieux de la page, des falaises il s'est jeté, s'il l'a fait pour les yeux de Percale, nul ne le saura jamais. Si tu gardes à l'intérieur ce que tu guides à l'extérieur, alors vu de l'intérieur, tu ne changes pas. Si tu laisses à l'extérieur ce que tu guides à l'intérieur, alors vu de l'extérieur, tu ne changeras pas, tu ne 
changera pas. Thank you so much. That was Piano Ocean here in Stornoway. Next concert and last concert in Stornoway tomorrow, 6 p.m. Have a lovely evening. Thank you. Thanks, all of you.